Hey everyone, Advanced Security here again with another DIY how-to video. Today we're going to show you how to program in a 5834-4 four-button four wireless key fob into your Honeywell Lynx Touch L5200 control panel. Also works on the L7000 system. You basically have two types of buttons um, that are now out there. You have what they, what's in high security mode and you have one that's in standard security mode. If you have an older version of the key fob, it's going to be in standard mode, uh, which will be indicated by a green LED on top. Um, this one here is an, a red LED, so that means it's in high security mode. So you have to take an extra step in order for the key, key fob to work once you get it programmed in the control panel. So I'll show you the extra steps since I've got the high security mode here uh, in my hand. So we're going to go into security, click on more, go into tools. Enter your installer code, go into program, go into keys, we're going to click on add new. You got to select a user first that's going to be using the key fob. In our case, we're going to select on master and we're going to enter the serial number. You've got two options with the serial number. You can either enter in the numerical portion of the numbers in the back um, or you can do an auto enroll. Auto enroll, auto -enroll is a safer method because it it automatically chooses the loop number and the serial number for you um, where there's no mistakes can be made that way. So we're going to do the auto enroll method, which means we have to activate the sensor three times to get it to, to work. So in this case, we're going to hit the bottom corner button here with the house. You hear one beep, activate it again. Now you get the, the serial number listed and the loop number is already programmed in there for you. And it says activate one more time to confirm. So we're going to do that. Okay, now it's confirmed, and then you'll see you got four buttons down here. Um, the button number one is your top button here with the lock on it. That means armed away. Button number two with the unlock button is your disarm. The bottom button with the house on it is your arm stay, and the button with the star on it is no response, meaning it's not set up yet. Um, we always like to program that with a police panic button. So if you click on it, you can change it to 24-hour audible. And that way if someone's trying to break in, there's a fire, there's an emergency at the house, you can press and hold that button down whether the system is armed or disarmed and it'll, it'll give you a, a police panic button. So click save. And now you'll see the button is programmed in. If you hit the back arrow button, hit it back again. When you come up to this screen where it says allow installer to re-enter programming, always say yes. Otherwise you'll lock yourself out of programming. Click the back button again. Um, here's where you would normally test your, your button um, and see if it works or not works. If it doesn't work, it may be a high security mode um, or you can just tell by the, the red LED. Ours is a high security mode button. So now we, once we're done with that step, which normally we would be done with if it was a standard security, we need to go back into tools, engineer and code again, go into test. We're going to do a go, no go test. What this does, you need to activate the arm stay button, arm away button, and the disarm button, all three of these at the same time. So we're just gonna hold these all down. You'll hear a beep. Okay, that activates it in the go no go testing and activates your, your sensor for you in high security mode. So if you hit the home button, enter your installer code again, it'll take you back to that screen there. Now you can go ahead and test it, and it works. Go ahead and hit the disarm button, and it's working. The next step is, is that Honeywell's programmed in a default setting of this loud horn-like siren um, when you arm and disarm from the key fob. Uh, most customers do not like it, um, so I'm gonna show you how to take that off as well. So if you go back into more, Hit Tools, enter your installer code again, hit uh, Program. If you arrow down to where it says a Sounder, click on the Sounder. You'll see where it says Arm Confirm RF Key Fob. Click on that twice until it says None. And then click Save. And then hit the arrow button. Again, make sure you hit Yes to allow installer re-entry. Hit arrow button again, and you're back to the home screen here, and you're, you're set. 
Now it should give you the, the beeping chime to let you know that you've activated it, but it will not give you that loud horn sound. Armed away. Exit now. Okay, and we're going to hit the disarm button. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Chime. Arm stay. Armed stay. Exit now. And then we won't do the panic button because it'll be pretty loud. So, but all the buttons are working, they're all tested, they're good to go. Um, and that's basically how you install the 5853-4 key fob that is on high security mode, uh, removing the loud um, horn siren uh, when it arms and confirms. And remember, we offer nationwide UL alarm monitoring services starting as low as $10 per month with no contracts, no activation fees, and your rates will never go up. If you have any questions, please comment below or give us a call at 877-364-0918 or visit us online at advancedsecurityllc.com and check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.